Hi there. So today we're going to talk about solving equations and simplifying expressions. Okay. So I first want you to remember from day one, right? We had all those big discussions about what's the difference between equations and expressions, right? And we said that equations look something like that and expressions look something like that, for example, right? So equations have an equal sign. They have one true answer, right? That makes this work. Okay, we can figure out if it's right by plugging it in. Expressions, on the other hand, don't have an answer. We can just write them differently, right? Like for example, I can take this 5y, move it over here, and it becomes 2x plus 5y minus 3, right? So expressions, I can rewrite differently. They still mean the same thing, okay? That's all. So let's simplify this expression here. Okay, so one thing that I want you to notice, okay, very important, 3x minus 4y plus x squared plus 7y minus 8. The thing that's really important is that we understand that this term comes with a sign, okay? This term comes with a sign. This term comes with a sign. And this term comes with a sign, okay? This term actually comes with a sign too, right? It's a little positive because there is no negative, right? The first term, I don't have to put a plus in front of it. We understand it's positive, okay? So now the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to decide what are like terms, okay? So first, is there anything like 3x? Well, there's an x squared. That's kind of like 3x, but not completely, right? Because x squared is squared, and this isn't, okay? So 3x is the only thing that's like itself. Okay, so I'll write it down. Um, let's look at the 4y. Is there anything like the 4y that I should group with it? Well, the x squared is definitely not it. 7y, yes, that's actually exactly like the 4y. So plus 7y, right? So x's are like each other, y's are like each other. The x squared, is there anything like the x squared? Nope. And the minus 8. Is there anything like the minus 8? No. Okay. And now we can collect the like terms, right? So what I did was I just grouped the like terms together. And now we can say, well, that's 3x minus 4 plus 7 is plus 3y plus x squared minus 8. And that's it. Now notice that all these terms are different. These are x's, y's, x squareds, and just numbers. Okay. So all these are different, so we can't combine anything else. Okay, so that's what we mean by simplifying. Okay, now here's another type of simplifying. Okay, this one has brackets. So the first thing we have to do is we have to broke, we have to open up the brackets. Okay, and we do that by taking this two and expanding it into the bracket. Okay, so what I would ideally like to see is whenever you have a number multiplied by a bracket. I would like to see you write these little arrows to see that the 2 applies to the x and to the 3. Okay, so this becomes 2x minus 6. And now I have negative applies to the 3x and to the negative 2y. So negative 3x and then negative negative 2y is plus 2y because negative times a negative is a positive. Okay. So now we've got the like terms, 2x and negative 3x, right? So that makes negative 1x. Minus 6 is on its own. There's nothing like it. And plus 2y is on its own also. So that's it. Okay, so that's how we expand when we have to, that's how we simplify when we have to expand brackets. Okay. So this one is an equation, obviously. It's got an equal sign, right? That's important. So we want to solve for x. So this is a simple one. We've already done them in class. So I want to isolate x. What do we need to do? Well, we need to get rid of that 2. So what do we do? Well, we add 2 to both sides. So adding 2 to this side gets rid of that minus 2. And adding 2 to the other side gives me 7 plus 2, right? So to simplify that, we have 3x is 9. Next thing we want to do is get rid of that 3. Well, this is multiplication. So to undo multiplication, we have to divide. 
So we get x is 3. Okay? So that's how we solve a simple equation. Okay? A little bit more complicated. So here, I've got to simplify first, right? First, I've got to collect my like terms. Okay? I only collect like terms on the same, on one side of the equal sign. Okay? So this is an expression, this is an expression, and they're separate at the beginning. Okay? So negative 4x plus 2x is negative 2x plus 3 is 2x plus 15. Okay? Now what do we do? Well, we have to somehow get all the x's on one side and all the numbers on the other side. Okay? So let's say get rid of these two x's, right? Because I want the x's all on this side. Okay? So then I'll have negative 2x plus 3. And now this was positive 2x, so I'm going to take away 2x on both sides. Here they'll cancel out, and I'll just be left with 15. So now I can collect like terms again, negative 2x minus 2x. Okay. And now it becomes a problem that's very similar to the other one, right? This plus 3 makes me want to take away 3 on both sides. So I end up with negative 4x is equal to 12. Right? And then I want to divide by negative 4 on both sides. And I end up with x is negative 3. Okay? And that's it. Okay? So that was a little bit of a review on simplifying expressions and solving equations. All right, so answer the questions provided, and we'll see you in class.